Hey guys, I hope that you've enjoyed our um, caterpillar and butterfly theme. So I wanted to end our theme with probably the most important caterp caterpillar and butterfly book that there is. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So I thought that this would be a great way to end our theme with one of the most popular books about caterpillars and butterflies. So let's get right into it, okay? All right, guys, this book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the egg? It's right there, the little white spot. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of an egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through, let's see, one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges, but can you guess? He was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Aw, poor little caterpillar. Do you think you'd have a tummy ache if you ate all these things? I think I would. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't the little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, caterpillar. He built a small house called a chrysalis or a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and what do you think is going to happen, guys? What's going to happen on the next page? He was a beautiful butterfly. Do you guys see all the pretty colors on the butterfly? And look at all these beautiful colors. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that story. I know I did. Um, I really enjoyed looking at all of those um, different caterpillars and butterfly stories and all the beautiful butterflies that we made this week. And just before we go, I'm gonna go grab the caterpillars so we can see them. I'll be right back. So I'm going to be looking after our caterpillars and watching them grow. And I'll give you guys updates um, every once in a while with how big they're getting. Look, you can already see that they've been eating. And we still have one, two, three, four. 
And one more is hiding up top. Wait, let's find him. Nope, oh, there he is. All right, so I'll be back next week and we will be starting one of my favorite themes. You guys know what it is? We're going to be talking about dinosaurs. So I'll be back next week. I hope you guys have a good weekend and um, I'll see you then. All right, bye.